Any early read from you here on the Saints and the Seahawks? I was annoyed. I know who bet this, and there's a lot of significance behind the bet from four to five and a half. And they went like 20 minutes before I was ready to fire on it. I think the Saints are so good this week. Now it's getting close to six that you're losing some value. Look, the Geno Smith stuff has been terrific, but he's faced the, C, uh, the Falcons defense we just talked about. That's bottom three in the league. The Lions, I'm, they're not stopping anybody any week. And he's walking up and down the field on them. The one real game that we saw him against a really good defense was the San Francisco 49ers. They did nothing. Seven points, and that that came off a defensive score. So to me, it's, it's kind of schedule assisted for what he's done so far. Saints defense, a much different sort of opponent than what he's faced the last two weeks. We've put up these big numbers that have sort of inflated everything. But where I look at it is this is a number and a spot that can only get better for the Saints. So the Lions with Goff and nobody hung 45 on the Seahawks defense. The Saints from an injury perspective, they're kind of in a similar spot where it's Andy Dalton and Chris Olave. Everyone else is hurt. But nobody from that group of skill position guys is fully ruled out. So I think as the week progresses, Maybe Kamara is able to go. The backfield gets a little bit healthier. Maybe Thomas is good. There's some upgrades elsewhere on the offensive line. Like it's only going to get better. And if it if it doesn't, then it's basically the same game that we saw last week with a much better defense and an offense that's still as capable as what the Lions had without their key guys. So I think it's a big number for the Saints in this one from an offensive perspective. And I just think the defense for the Saints, night and day versus what the Seahawks have faced the last two weeks. I think it's a really, really good spot for the Saints. Okay. Uh, New Orleans five and a half, as Nick mentioned, got bet uh, maybe like right before the show or this morning, basically. It sounds like I'm saying this morning from four to five and a half, four and a half to five and a half. It's five and a half now, basically on the board with a total of 45 and a half. 